Okay, so I toughed it out. This is a thread all, all thread. As you can see, it goes all the way through. Now, I mean, you can indicate. You indic it goes all the way through, guys, through that block wall. And it'll get a plate on the outside. And in here, I'll get closer to the inside track here with my, with my connection. Or I'll reinforce the back with a plate just with, with multiple connect ball holes that will distribute the load from this. Um, I don't want to create any deflection in here, but I could obviously fix that. But I don't want to do that. Even if I can get it on the outside, angle iron it out here, wing it, wing it, I'll, I'll have a better deal that way. I don't want to cause any rotation either. So we got this brace here, but the brace has got a rubber bushing on it, so it's not really uh, um, doing that much. Uh, it's, it's not, I, could, I need to close this up with something more rigid. All right, this lift, incidentally, is only going up about here. So the reaction is not going to be the full height, but the lift only goes about there. It gives me clearance because I'm using one of these uh, dollies you sit on the ground and you roll around with and you work from sitting position as opposed to standing position. Um, all right, so this, one more hole to go. One more hole to go, Mono Lake, California. Um, and then uh, work on the... Uh, and then work on how to connect this. And that really, really resolves the rotation there. But we still have the issue over here. Now I dug the uh, I dug the test hole here, right there. I, dr I drilled it rather, and I put it near the. I purposely put it near a the edge of the pad because you guys need to see the data yourself. How epoxy fails versus a uh, an anchor wedge anchor would fracture that. And unless I get the epoxy below and underneath this pad, it's going to just, it will just slide out. And it won't cause that fracture. So um, ultimately you get to reuse the hole again if you do get some failure. You can get that anchor out of there, drill that epoxy, which won't be, it won't be an easy task. But you'll get to reuse it. The fracture, it will not make, it typically does not make a fracture in the concrete. And again, I put it near the edge. So you'll... Uh, you'll be able to do some extrapolation. All right, so you know, with that in mind, imagine another one of these anchors, this hole like this, further back behind this one, and then you run a, a, the cable to it, a hook, a hook, um, eye hooks to it with not, so not, not cable, a rod. So you run a rod and you can snug it up and now you'll have your, your, uh, your extra uh, resistance against rotation it's the same thing like this except for it will be eye hooked down oops camera's upside down sorry so i want you to think of it like this except for your uh this will come out and you'll thread into there and the other one will connect to the ground and then as you you snug this up and you operate your machine you've got redundancy from your floor failure um and you can do a couple of these like a like a uh, cable stay bridge, if you will. You can put one there and then one further back on in the floor. So you can, if you're worried, you can put two of them in there. Snug them up. Um, again, distribute the uh, that metal, that load. You don't want any buckling in your columns. So make sure you distribute that. Now that's that version with the with the eye that just you can just take apart. And here's the one with the eye that does not come apart. I'm sorry, you, it's you, you, you design, with the, and this one's an eye bar, uh, eye bolt, on the opposite end is that one. So, that's how you can resolve it. It's different sizes, you can see, this one says 5 eighths, and this one is, they're labeled, this one is, uh, uh, this might be 3 eighths, I can't see that. Right and left. Uh, let me rotate it over. Right. Come over. There it is. Half inch. So I'd buy a half inch thread, all thread, and I'd make sure it works first. You know, um, that the thread match up, galvanized or not. All right. Just giving you guys my free advice to you. You can use it. Don't use it. Just don't come back at me if you wind up dead underneath your lift. It's not free advice, as in engineering device is just showing how reactions work 
as you can see it's much more significant hole for the exterior one the interior one i'm just saving saving myself some trouble by doing this and again i'm testing you know i'm putting my rebar pullout test on this which would as an anchor test which is just an extension the thread all thread and 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 uh wedges and correlation of from from kilonewtons to pounds of force. So I'm proof testing mine. I recommend you do the same. You know, hire an engineer locally to do the proof test for you, and then you'll know. Otherwise, uh, you know, do, you know, at least do all the redundancy. I'm thinking for you guys, but um, you know, I can't really give you advice on this that says do this because you can wind up killing yourself. So I'm just showing you how my steps to verify that I don't kill myself. And that is, again, testing, testing, and then redundancy, not just the bolts in the floor that, uh, that I'm depending on. I've got redundancy built going in here. This is not the type of post that has a cross brace in it, so that would give you redundancy as far as it, uh, not rotating in. It's a balance that one's pushing against the top. We don't have that luxury here, so I'm tying it to the back. And I wanted the mobile post. And with the mobile post comes a little more work, as far as I'm concerned, on installation. But the, but the ease of it's going to be awesome, the fun of it. Take care.